are back at it with a review that nobody really requested, but I felt that it was my job to let the people know about an option that I found surprisingly quite pleasant, for the most part. And when I told Vinnie Ray that I was going to do the review, she was like, oh, that's my favorite shoe. So I figured, well, let's make it happen. Now, Hoka is known to be the max cushion brand that many people seem to gravitate towards when they want that extra protection. With so many models and updates, it's kind of hard to keep up. But today, we're going to focus on one shoe specifically. This is our review of the Hoka 1-1 or One One Arahi 3. So let's just get one thing straight. I've tried the previous two Arahis, and those uppers, to me, left a bit to be wanted. And visually, had a lot going on. Maybe I'm just shallow. But this year, in this upper, is money. The mesh they use feels light on foot, yet still sturdy. I always get the feel that the old models felt kind of cheap. The Arahi 3 has got rid of those extra overlays and made the upper even more breathable. And it has a bit more of an adaptable fit and kind of gave the shoe a better aesthetic. Now to me, Hoka's don't look good, but compared to other Hoka's, this one isn't too bad. And it just works. Everything from the midfoot lockdown and how the tongue and the heel cup fits around your foot, the fit is nice. The heel cup itself does give you the support that you would expect in a stability shoe, which is obviously the goal here. Stability and support. And the best part about this upper is that we got a pull tab. And you know I love pull tabs. The midsole uses Hoka's special blend of EVA. I say special, but it really isn't. But hey, it feels good. Combine that with the Meta Rocker, you're going to get that slight rolling forward sensation during your stride. If you land on your heel, it'll roll you through your gait. And if you land on your midfoot, it'll just push you off from there. Now, this is something that you will either like or hate. If the idea of having a rocker feel doesn't seem appealing, you're probably not watching a Hoka review anyway. To us, it's a good change up. When buying a Hoka, I can at least know that I'm getting something different. The change up in this model from other shoes like the Clifton or the Bondi is the inclusion of the EVA J frame. Now, the J frame is Hoka's way of providing support in the shoe without the traditional medial posting. But what does this basically mean? It means you get support without having to feel it as much, or it feeling invasive. I would say that compared to other stability methods such as Brooks guide rails, I feel the support is less noticeable while running. Like I know it's there, but the shoe still feels like a normal shoe, which to me is a good thing. It's a stable shoe without the clunkiness. The J frame itself kind of wraps around your heel and helps guide your foot for those who need more support. And it may be a better option for those who, say it with me, over pronate. Now I typically wear neutral shoes, but this shoe gave me no issues. Vinny Ray wears this shoe all the time, and she likes having that extra support. But I guess we all do in certain ways. It's kind of deep. The outsole has rubber in the higher wear spots, and the exposed foam will take a hit pretty fast, but it really does not affect performance. There's also some extended rubber on the heel. Durability wise, it's okay. Hocus aren't known to be the longest lasting shoe. They have a lot of foam, but it compresses over time. You'll get decent life out of it, unless you're wearing it every day. So as far as the Arahi 3, I would say it's more like a slighter, firmer, more stable Clifton. It does have a bit more of an engaged feel. The midfoot and the forefoot still has that cushion pop to it, but the heel is definitely more stable. You could almost use it as a more responsive Clifton, but can still go the distance from everything from an everyday run to a long run. And since the shoe isn't terribly heavy for a stability shoe, you can go fast. I can't, but I'm just a jogger. But Vinny Ray can. Easy. The only bad thing that I can think of is probably the sizing. It fits slightly long on me. But then a half size down fit almost too short. To Vinny Ray, it fit perfect. So it could be a me thing. But once the lacing is adjusted and I'm running, it's mostly all good. I did not expect to even try the Arahi this year. But I feel the need to let the people know. Vinny Ray loves it. I really like it. And Lauren, who was in my Brooks Ravenna 10 review, also loves it. So out of the three of us that tried it, we say give it a go. Impressive. You ready? It smells bad. It smells bad. Does it? It's almost kind of bad. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with the post review review where we go over the things that we may have missed or kind of reiterate the things that we want to make sure you guys know 
Um, the Arahi 3, this is a stability shoe. I don't like running a stability shoes, but this is one of those shoes that I can run in the shoe and it doesn't bother me. I actually like it better than the Clifton. I like it better than Gaviota, better than the Kavu 2, better than the Mott. I would say besides is the- Is it the best whole go around? That's the Bondi 6. Mm, debatable. But for me, Bondi 6 and then this one. Even though it's a stability shoe, it just fits well. It looks a lot better. That's a little bit of like a firmer feel too though. Yeah, it feels a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. This feels like what the Clifton should be. But I get, you know, neutral and stability and all that nonsense. Um, you've worn this shoe for two months now, three months now? How long? Yeah, the Arahi 3 for, yeah, a couple months. So I got it, like, the day it came out. <laughs> but, uh, I've worn the Arahi. Started with number one. That one sucked. Comparatively, yes, to this one. But I liked it back then. Well, I thought the one sucked. The two was like, eh. This one was like, oh, okay. W what are we doing here? I definitely like the upper a lot better. Like, I feel like... The last one I had like ripped like right there and like on the inside as well and I just see this one would have like a lot harder time of that happening which is what I like yeah I mean it looks the, the wear pattern is not that bad I mean definitely the exposed foam here is definitely like gonna take a hit because that's what it is but I feel like the, the tread on this thing is still pretty good but you probably have at least what a few hundred a decent amount yeah yeah which is why I'm glad that you're here for this review. Give your perception. Anything about this you just didn't like? Anything you would change to make it better? Or is this the perfect shoe? What would make this shoe perfect for me was it if it was purple. Really? <laughs> I always say looks don't matter. You go over here and say if it was purple. Yeah, I'm one of those. Um, no, I really, I like a lot about it. Um, I don't know, this feels kind of like stiff to me. And that's like the one thing that I don't necessarily love. So if you had a Will Smith, the genie, it can make any wish. You would wish to be a little less structured here. Yeah. Did it cause any Achilles issues? No, it's just like... Just small preference if you could, yeah. you would. And did you could you feel the J-frame as far as the stability in there? To me, it wasn't that noticeable. I, I don't notice it. The only thing I really notice is that it's like just a firmer feel than like a Clifton. Okay, or... I, I would agree with that. Uh, as far as me, well, I already gave my review on the shoe, but yeah, I would say very underrated shoe. If you're neutral, you can still try it. If you're a stability, you don't want a big clunky shoe. I know Hocus have that rep of being clunky, but this is not a clunky shoe. It's sleek. When you're wearing it in real life and running in it and not just looking at it and judging it from a picture, it's actually sleek, lightweight, pretty good shoe. I would say my scale to like, if I had a magic scale of one to 10, this would be like an eight. I'd say a nine. A nine? Okay. This is this is my shoe. This is your shoe? So this is like the way I feel about the Go Ride 7. This is like your Go Ride. Yes. Or Go Run Ride. People don't want to correct me and stuff. So this is like your Skechers. Yes. The Arahi. We go is that way a back. ladybug? Yeah, it is. Those are good luck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's that ladybug. The whole shot I guess up. it wasn't that great of luck. With that said, be sure to stay in school, don't do drugs, and if you can, keep it tight. <laughs> what? Great shot. I didn't record any of this. What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hit the button and say, Alright, good. I said, Oh. Alright, cool. Boom, boom, boom. So there we got the shoe. It's gonna be this and that and that. And everything from a low angle, baby. I was 